The finance minister, Kholm Imbert, lobbies the Senate to approve the International Financial Organization's Bill 2017. The bill would allow the government to access loans from the Andean Development Corporation for the purpose of financing development projects. The opposition accuses the government of being on a borrowing spree. Karen Kozia Philip reports. The estimated expenditure in 2017 is $52 billion. With a revenue of $46 billion, that leaves a deficit of $6 billion. The finance minister said while the deficit was financed with the recent withdrawal of $1.7 billion from the Heritage and Stabilization Fund, there's still a deficit of $4.3 billion. He said the balance of the financing must come from borrowing. Andean Corporation, the Andean Development Corporation, approved a loan for Trinidad and Tobago in the amount of $300 million U.S. dollars a policy loan to allow us to do our institutional strengthening and diversification and so on. But there was no disbursement of that loan because that was impossible. In order to actually access that loan, we have to pass this law. The finance minister said accessing funding in foreign currency will immediately assist with the country's foreign reserves. And he said having put $2 billion into the Andean Development Corporation, it would be foolhardy for Trinidad and Tobago not to complete the work necessary to access benefits gained from the membership. And the $300 million U.S. that we intend to borrow from the Andean Development Corporation will boost our foreign reserves by a further $300 million U.S. So that's five. 151 million US that will go into our foreign reserves and assist us at this time when there are heavy demands on our foreign exchange. But opposition Senator Wade Mark expressed concern that the government was on both a spending and borrowing spree and fears the country was not getting value for money. Madam President, between September of 2015 to today's date, they have borrowed over $20 billion. And when you look to Trinidad and Tobago to see where that $20 billion has gone, Madam President, we can't see it. Senator Mark asked for a provision that compels government to come to Parliament and share what projects and programs are being accessed to qualify for certain loans. Karen Kozia Philip, C News. Responding to the opposition's comments on government's level of borrowing in the Senate today, the Minister of Energy and Energy Industries, Franklin Kahn, said the government is not borrowing recklessly but prudently. He added that there's a significant drop in Trinidad and Tobago's revenue. We are curtailing our expenditure and we're trying as a responsible and prudent government as to how we fund our deficit. And we plan to come out of deficit budgeting by 2020. Mm -hmm. A lot will, have to, will depend on oil price, gas price, gas production. Though there's a drop in revenue, Minister Khan said the government is doing what it can to restore steady revenue flow. Together with energy, we are working on diversification. Because I say this without fear of contradiction, I say this with the greatest sense of humility. And the People's National Movement Administration are good managers. And I want to give the country this assurance that despite the challenges we face, I think the economy is still in good hands and we will come out of it very shortly. Madam President, I... Also contributing to debate in the Senate today was opposition Senator Gerald Ramdeen. He said between 2010 and 2015, revenues were high at one point, but even when it started to decrease, the People's Partnership refrained from going into the Heritage and the Stabilization Fund. And what you have is within 18 months of this administration, they've gone into that fund twice. They've taken out $3 billion from that fund. He said government needs to stop withdrawing from the Heritage and Stabilization Fund. Because we cannot pursue a line of borrowing and borrowing and borrowing from the one place where we have put aside for our future and for our children. We cannot continue doing that. And it is no excuse for a Prime Minister to stand on a public platform and tell people, the people of this country, that we shouldn't be concerned about that because the fund earned 350 million and all we took out is 251 million. 